In this video, we will apply the same process, but for popcorn paper bucket. We said previously we need three measurements to be known before we start. Now the measurements that we will use is top circle diameter equals 19 centimeters, bottom circle diameter equals 15 centimeters, and the height equals 16.5 centimeters. Now as we will use centimeter as a unit to work with, we need to be sure that illustrator work with the same unit. So in Illustrator press Ctrl plus R to show the rulers. Right click and change to centimeter. Now select ellipse tool. Press once at any place in the page. Change width to 19 centimeters. Make sure concentrate width and height is on. Press OK. Now click again and draw a circle with 15 centimeters diameter. Select Line Segment Tool. Click anywhere in the page, type 16.5 cm. Change Angle to 90 degree. Now to work correctly, select Type Tool. Write the measurement next to each item. Now we need to calculate the circumference of each circle, so open calculator and type 19 times pi and this equal to 59.7 cm, type this number inside the top circle. Now for the bottom circle, type 15 times pi and this equal to 47.1 centimeters. Also type this number inside the bottom circle. Now we have all the information needed to start drawing our die line. Select Rectangle tool. Press anywhere. For width use circumference of the top circle, which is 59.7 centimeters. And for height use the height of the bucket, which is 16.5 centimeters. Make the rectangle with stroke only and remove fill if there is a fill color. Now we need another copy of the rectangle so click Ctrl plus C to copy, Ctrl plus F to paste in front. Or you can go to edit, copy, then edit, paste in front. Now go to properties. Make sure concentrate width and height is turn off, now change the width to be equal to the bottom circle circumference, which is 47.1 cm. Zoom in. Click and drag bottom left anchor with holding shift until snap. Do the same for bottom right anchor. Now when we drag the anchor and angle created here, and we want to know the value. To do that, draw a line. Move it until snap to top anchor. Now select rotation tool. Move rotation anchor point to top. Then start rotating the line until snap. You can see the angle right here it's 20.9 degree. Write the value to the side. Now select the inner rectangle. Go to Object. Envelop Distort. Make with Warp. Select Bend and start moving with top and down keyboard a row keys until the side fit in the outer rectangle side. Press OK. Now select the outer rectangle and delete it. Now go to Object, Expand. Press OK. Now as the cup is a part of a circle, we need to check if our top and bottom curves is a part of a circle. To do that, select Ellipse tool and draw a circle. Now 
with selection tool select both and align at the center and top. Now we will scale the circle, go to properties, set reference point to top center, make sure Menton width and height proportions is on, now select width and start scaling with top and down keyboard a row keys until the circle fit at the curve edge. Zoom in to check. Now do the same for bottom curve. Select the circle Ctrl plus C to copy, Ctrl plus F to paste in front, change reference point to the center, select the width and start scaling until the circle fit to the bottom curve. Change the value to be correct as possible. Now we want to check our sides and we want to create the glue flap which will be glued when the cup folded up and also we want to determine the center of our design which will contain the logo or the main data. To do that, draw a straight line that intersect with both circles. Move it until snap to the center. Now double click at the rotation tool. Type the angle which we take previously 20.9 degree. Press copy. Zoom in. Now we want to duplicate the line to the other side. Select the center line, double click at the rotation tool. Type minus 20.9 degree. Press copy. Now we want to create the glue flap with a width of 1.5 cm. To do that, draw a circle with diameter of 1.5 cm. Move it until snap to the edge. Now select the line. Double-click at the rotation tool, select angle and with keyboard or raw start changing the value until the line approximately reach the edge of the circle. Press copy. Now delete the circle. Now we want to create a guide to determine the center area to use it as reference for logo or main data in our design. Now when we create the sides, we use 20.9 degree angle, so if we want to divide the space between the lines from the middle, we need to divide our angle by 2. Use the calculator, 20.9 divided by 2. This equal to 10.45 degree. Select the middle line, double click on the rotation tool. Now type 10.45 degree. Press copy. Select the middle line again, double click on the rotation tool, type minus 10.45. Press copy. Now we will simplify the shape, so select all. Select shape builder tool. Hold alt and remove everything down here. Zoom in. Hold alt and remove the top part of the lines here. Select the old shape that we used before as reference and delete it. Now select all again. Go to object. Path. Simplify. Auto simplify to remove extra anchors. Select the middle line and delete. Select the remaining inner lines. Right click. Make guides. Now check your design and delete any extra lines.
Now to create bleed around the shape. Go to Object. Path. Offset Path. Type 0.3 cm. Press OK. Now the bleed is all around the shape, but we need to exclude glue flap. So select this line, Ctrl plus C to copy, Ctrl plus F to paste in front, go to Object, Transform, Scale. Use arrow keys to extend the line outside the shape. Now select the inner shape, Ctrl plus X to cut, select all. Select Shape Builder tool. Hold Alt and remove unwanted area. Now Ctrl plus F to paste the main shape. Select the line and delete it. Select Bleed Area, right click, Make Guides. Now our die line is ready. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video please hit the like button, if you want to see more videos hit the subscribe button and if you have something to say please leave a comment.